Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! For today, we will discuss about identifying a function. Before we begin, let us first define relation and function. A relation is a rule that relates values from a set of values called the domain to a second set of values called the range. A relation is a set of ordered pairs x, y. A function is a set of ordered pairs x, y such that no two ordered pairs have the same x value but different y values. Using functional notation, we can write f of x is equals to y. In particular, if 1, 2 is an ordered pair associated with a function f, then we can say that the function of 1 is equals to 2. Looking at the definition, both are a set of ordered pairs x, y. Therefore, we can say that a function is a special type of relation. All functions are relations, but not all relations are functions. Relations can be represented by ordered pairs, table of values, mapping, and graphs. Let us start with ordered pairs. Which of the following relations are functions? Before we begin, always remember that for a relation to be a function, all values of x must be unique or non-repeating. Also, for every x value, it should only be paired with only one y value. So, let's start. We have here a relation f with ordered pairs 1, 3, 4, 1, 2, 0, 7, 2. Inspecting the domain or the x values, we have 1, 4, 2, and 7. All are unique and non-repeating, therefore this relation is a function. Next, let's have relation G. Looking at the x values, we have 3, 4, 3, 8. 3 was repeated twice under the ordered pair 3, 2, and 3, 3. Therefore, this relation is not a function. Now, let's have relation H. Again, look at the x values or the domain. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. These are all unique, therefore, this relation is a function. We have here another relation i with ordered pairs 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, and 3, 1. As you can see, all values of y here are the same, which is 1. But it doesn't matter as long as your x which are 0, 1, 2, and 3 are all unique, it is still a function. Let us now have another relation J with the x values 2, 4, 2, 5. At first glance, you'll see that there's a repetition of the x value which is 2. But looking at it carefully, it was paired with the same value of y which is 3. Therefore, it is only taken as 1, making it still a function. Let us now proceed to number 2, Table of Values. This is a table with x and y values. As you can see, all values of x here are unique and non-repeating. Therefore, this is still a function. We'll now consider another table of x and y values. Obviously, one was repeated thrice and is spared to different values of y which are 1, 2, and 3. Therefore, this is not a function. Let us now consider number 3, mapping. This is a map of a relation with input x paired to output y. If we are having a problem identifying if this is a function, we will first make it into set of ordered pairs before we decide. We have here 10 paired to 15, 20 paired to 45, 30 paired to 25, and 40 paired to 35. As you can see, all values of x here are non-repeating. Therefore, this is a function. 
we have here another map of our relation G. Again, we'll transform this one into a set of ordered pairs. Therefore, we have A paired to X, B paired to Y, C paired to Y, and D paired to Z. The Y value, which is Y, was repeated twice, but again, it does not matter. As long as your X, which are A, B, C, and D are all unique, it is still a function. We have here another map of relation H. Making it into a set of ordered pairs, we have 2 paired to 20, 2 paired to 40, 4 paired to 40, and 3 paired to 30. Notice that the x value which is 2 was repeated twice under the ordered pair 220 and 240. Therefore, this is not a function. Let us now proceed to number 4, graph. Before we start with the items, let us first discuss the test which will help us in identifying the graph of a function. We have here vertical line test. It states that a graph represents a function if and only if each vertical line intersects the graph at most once. We have here the graph in number 1. We will be placing here vertical lines and will try to check if each vertical line will only intersect at one point. As you can see, each vertical line here intersects at two points of the graph. Therefore, this is not a function. Next is we have the graph in number 2. Let us first place vertical lines here. As you can see, each vertical line here intersects at only one point of the graph. Therefore, this is a function. We have here number 3. Placing vertical lines here will only intersect at one point. Therefore, this is a function. We are now on number 4. Placing vertical lines here will only intersect at one point. Therefore, this is still a function. We are now on our last item, it's a graph of a circle. Placing vertical lines here, you'll see that each vertical line intersects at two points. Therefore, this is not a function. That is all for today. Thank you and see you on our next video lesson.